This thing is like I'm four it. wide. It's and like, four. Look how tiny. Oh, this and is. it's like twenty-two long. That's what she said. <laughs> Hey, what's pop and everyone welcome back to a brand new video so you guys know what you clicked on the video for there's like almost nobody here also new merchandise is out you guys see this shirt there's actually a bunch of pictures bam 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 there you go okay so if you guys want some there's a link in the description grab yourself some but i'm gonna shut up let's go to the gopro right okay we're on the gopro uh we should get some clips because it's actually beautiful out hey, so beautiful vlog. hi vlog it's ride time yes <laughs> I got it on Craigslist, Lily. I think it was Craigslist, I forget. It was some like knockoff Amazon thing. It was like 60 bucks, okay? So if you're really, really, really on a budget and you need it complete, we're gonna see if this is worth the money, even though it's not much money. Okay, so we have the scooter, it's right here. I actually haven't even taken this thing out of the box and I got the most colorful one I could because I know you guys love colors. Who doesn't love a good bunch of colors? This is literally called Pulse Performance, the Burner Pro Plus, high performance freestyle with oil slick finish sounds you know, very clickbait okay there this is literally claudius, claudius for testing scooter, scooter from confirmed. like 10 million bajillion years ago uh it weighs 140 pounds oh no the weight limit's 140 pounds i was about to say dude i'm not i can't pick this up we have reinforced welds and basically the rest is just aluminum it's super lightweight we're gonna see this this thing is definitely not very you know high quality i just from first glance but that i'm not gonna judge yet <laughs> Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize that box was like half open. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Are you, are you right, returning right, it? Are you relax. returning it? No, probably not. Okay. What compression okay, is this? Okay, first off, right, this, this is, this, this is, this is, this is the sketchiest box. It's in another box with the head tube sticking out of it. You remember those like button things from like the Razor scooters where they would stick out? This thing's compression system has one. Look at that! It's a button. It's literally a button. Okay, something's coming out, and the whole thing's coming out. Hold up. Ah, okay, it's in bubble wrap, all right? And there's two pieces for the bar. Ah. Okay, could be worse. Um, it could be worse. By the way, this was not a sponsored video. You guys all know I ride for Mad Gear. Mad Gear so is the better. best in the best in the game. The scooter, the bar, and then the other piece of the bar, which is not exactly like amazing, but we're gonna we're gonna see. So I'm gonna put it together. Here we go. How long is this? All right, so we have the scooter complete. Squirrel, what do you think? Just um, looks wise, okay? Be honest with me. It's bad. It's bad? You don't like it? The grip moves. You see that? That's not really supposed gotta, to happen. You better rev your scooter up, man. Yeah. Like. So there's a two-piece bar. You can see this is literally bolted on. You have to do that yourself. So like right here, it's literally a bolt. It's like two pieces. That's why the bars came in two pieces. Uh, it's not an integrated headset, which pretty much means uh, that's not very good. Okay. Plastic core wheels. Granted, the pink is a cool color, but plastic core will break very easily. This grip tape looks really really weird okay i don't know what that's supposed to be okay, this thing is like I'm digging four it. wide and it's like four, look how tiny oh, this and is and it's like 22 long that's what she said <laughs> look how skinny this deck is like bro that's like four inches maybe the color is pretty cool it is pretty freaking shiny okay granted it's brand new the bottom is not flat it's like the, the razors all right oh yeah that that's not that that's kind of a big red flag we got that oh we got that butter knife all right, you're not doing finger ups on this if you buy one. So obviously compared to like normal, like actually good scooters like an MGP, um, this thing is terrible. But if you only have $60 and you really, really need something or you really, really want something, maybe this is it. Okay, do you want to be the, the tester, the first tester? Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, score it. Let's, let's start with the drop in. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> you see his little squeaking voice. You want, gonna, you want to drop the I'm going to tail a fly on the bank. Tail a fly? Okay, let's see how it tails. Dude, you hear the break? It's bring. Is it dialed? Oh not God. even close. Okay, granted, we didn't tighten it like to the max, but that's not that fantastic. Okay, I think we've had enough with Squirt for now. I think I'm gonna put the GoPro on and give this a real test. Shall we? 
Okay, so here we have it. This thing, it's actually not that heavy. It's, it is actually kind of light. All right, it feels terrible. It's gonna be so tiny on me. Oh, my, oh you hear that? You hear that? You hear this freaking boinky noise on the brake? That's so annoying. Listen. Yeah, you can definitely hear that. All right, well, so far, just judging off of looks and how it feels, I'm gonna give this like a five out of 10. Okay, for sure. No, nothing higher than that. All right, let's see if, if she rides good. Oh boy. Oh, dude, this deck is so tiny. Okay, all right. It's very slow, very slow. Well, that's compared to like the best wheels in the game. Okay, I was ripping on the grip tape earlier. It is pretty, it is pretty grippy. Like the grip tape isn't too bad. The wheels though and the grips, not where it's at. Like, oh God, feebling this thing is like feebling a tightrope. Okay, let's see how this thing really goes. Can it manual? Okay, not bad. It did feel really flimsy, but that's cause like I'm a little bit bigger than some of you kids that might actually buy this. Tail whip. Oh, that is really not good. That, it's so front heavy, bro, like so ridiculously. I mean, the headset isn't that bad. The headset spins really good. So if you want to do like 70 whip on this, I mean, it wouldn't be that bad. But if you want to do fin whips, don't buy this. Look at the size of this deck. Look at the size, you got that razor thin deck. And also this two piece bar, I hate it. I genuinely do not like it, okay? Because if you hit your face, you're hitting your face straight on this metal piece. It does have a good bit of blunt space though. Oh wow, blunts are actually really good on this thing. Let me try that again. Oh, okay, all right. Blunts aren't that bad. There's a lot of space. All right, since the bearings aren't the greatest, let's see if we can jump the pyramid. Okay, all right, not bad. Air, yeah, it feels really, really flimsy. Like it really just, oh dude, it's so like plasticky. The grips are moving quite a bit. Like, look at this. Look at how much they're moving. You see that? See how much that's moving? That's not good. I mean, out of the box, we're not getting any, like there's, there's a little bit of flex. Yeah, actually there's quite a bit of flex. She's not very dialed at all. Like not at all, but I mean, dude, so far it is not too bad. Let's see if we can get some more stuff. Oh, case okay. and my throttle grip's getting me. Hang five. Okay, it sounds like it's breaking. Well, since this deck is like not great, I want to see if it feebles. I don't think it'll actually do any types of grinds, but I'm going to try anyway. Oh boy. Okay, it actually does. It did slide. Let me do a lip. Okay, it slides, but very like uncomfortably. Does she smith? Okay, not bad actually. Not that bad. Back lip. Oh God, it leaned over. Full send, here we go. Oh goodness. Oh, everything's moving. Everything is freaking moving. I might have just ran into a very large problem, okay? This is very large red flag. I just took the freaking grip off. Let's be real. This thing compared to like a Mad Gear is absolute straight trash. Like just like my freaking shirt says. All this straight trash. The grip tape is probably the best part so far. If I'm gonna be straight up with you guys, which is like the smallest bit. And probably the headset. The headset actually spins really good, but the wheels, they're slow. The bars feel like they're gonna break, okay? The deck is really freaking skinny and has like hardly anything on the bottom. You go, you ready? Let's do it. All right, so we got Hugo with us. He wanted to give this a try. Go for it, what you got? There's 360. All right, let me see a heel whip. <laughs> How did you miss that? Straight trash, bro. See if you can jump the pyramid. I did it, you probably can. Oh, barely, bro. Feebles just don't lock in. Yeah, feebles don't work at all. It's too skinny. Okay, nice, nice clean double whip. I like to see it. You think you'd, you'd throw a bri flip for me? All right, let's see it. Oh, let's go. All right, you guys gonna try and bri flip this thing. I wouldn't bri flip this. Way too much throttle grip. You got it, bro. Ooh, dude, there's literally no space to land. Coming at it again. Ooh, bro, you're literally landing on your heels on the edge of the deck each, each time. Do not let it hit your shins or your ankles, all right? Because your ankles will not be able to walk again if that happens. Oh, Ooh, dude, I thought you were going over. You got it, you go. You actually just pulled that off. That's impressive. Okay, now obviously this the deck is super tiny. Will it grind? Oh! Dude, the grind sounds like like rocks. It did the rail pretty good. Will it do the let? Last street test. Can it jump the stairs? I think it'll actually hold up on this. If it doesn't, then you goes toast. Come on, send it. You got it. Full send. Full send down the stairs. 
<laughs> oh, it's so janky. Hey, it, it passed. It passed. It probably wouldn't pass another like three of those, but it did one. How does it feel after that? Did it feel like anything was breaking? I feel like the back wheel is just like not there. All right, we're going to do the kicker thing to ledge. He's going to go for it. Send it. Oh, does it actually, it seems like it slid pretty well. Okay, now, let's be real. I personally wouldn't recommend this as a first choice for a first scooter or a scooter in general, but it's not that bad. Like, it's not horrible. Give me your honest opinion. Out of 10, overall. For, for a five-year-old, like a eight. Five. Okay, if you're five and you don't have a lot of money, then you can try. It is light. It has a decently cool color scheme, but it's so janky. Like, if you want to learn some, like, actually good tricks, this is probably not the best idea. Squirt, what do you think? What would you give it? Probably, I'll give it probably, like, a five out of ten. So, it looks like it's about a five out of ten for the money. Why? Why are you making that chalkboard noise? Never do that again. For the love of my ears. Personally, for $60, I'm going to say this is, like, probably a four. Okay, at max, all right, because you just almost broke your toe on that. Also, shout out to Squirt, shout out to Hugo for the sending in for the video. The only thing we didn't do is a flare, which, uh, yeah, I'm not doing that with a bunch of throttle whip. But, but that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, but I'll catch you next time. Later. <laughs>